Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our No Shots Fired or No Bullets Wasted Run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty without firing a single shot. Yes, you heard that right. Or without using any grenades. Today's mission is Operation Red Rhyme, which uh, is a doozy as none of our soldiers is ready to actually go into this mission. We're not only going to be forced to send in four rookies, which per definition is already pretty bad. The problem with this particular run is, just think about it, the rookies cannot take any shot, they cannot throw any grenades, so their standard equipment allows them to do nothing other than running. And I don't have uh, uh, the means uh, to purchase anything to make their life less miserable. Which means this is going to be a complete Hail Mary maneuver where we're trying to rush in and somehow get the VIP out of there without being completely overrun by the loss. My suspicion is uh, there are not only going to be losses, which just makes it worse. I could deal with the losses uh, by just outrunning them, but if there is advent around, it's going to suck. VIP and our resistance contact are hunkered Good, down here we are. Somewhere in this area. Our highest priority is locating them first, but keep an eye out for any additional survivors nearby. Oh boy, this Once is going to be targets, so bad. Gotta move through all of uh, those houses, but unfortunately they end here. Would have been great if we had more houses, because we could just bypass all of the enemies. There's a huge storage house over here, almost kind of storage facility. We might be able to use the high ground here just to rush all the way and then uh, get to the extraction zone. But the map in itself is huge and that's the worst thing that could have happened to us. Technically what, you, what, what we would want in that specific situation is a map with a lot of vision uh, protection where we can conceal and sneak in as far as uh, as we want and then essentially just rushing out the problem with the VIP to a degree is once we have um, engaged with the VIP is we can no longer take a good look um, outside because if you're concealed and you do have the VIP with you what the game will do is it will just unconceal you as soon as you run into the first enemy. Done. Uh, it's not even a discussion. And the reason why they want to do that is whenever you do have a mission objective, Stepping off. you are not allowed to just sneakily get out of there with a mission objective. Um, I think that was a change uh, that had been happening once the Reaper class was introduced, because it would have, in some cases, been too easy to just sneak in. It's almost, almost like the, um, like the alien facility um, Reaper tactic that a lot of people employ, where you're using a Reaper to just go and solo an alien facility, and they just didn't want that to happen with multiple mission objectives. Wait, are those humans? It appears the alien devices dropped during the first invasion had a degenerative effect on these citizens, causing their physical and mental health to rapidly decay while maintaining primitive organic functions. Approach with caution, Commander. Good. We cannot shoot them anyway, so awesome. approach with caution is exactly what we should do. What we're hoping to a degree is that they and Advent will sort of run into one another. Okay, so is there an option to... get onto the balcony? No, there isn't because the window is intact and as long as that is the case bad luck ombre XCOM soldiers are not capable of opening windows that is unfortunately nothing that they learn in their base training sorry Moving. 
but you're screwed. All right, moving the operatives really as far as we can to the left-hand side. The idea is to sprint over, yeah, and just bypass everything here and then take a beeline. Closing on target position now. In cover. Covering. Roger, holding. Still hoping that we would somehow... Oh yeah, wonderful. That's what we were looking for. Because now the packs trigger one another. And that means they are going to just hit one another. Perfect. Wonderful. Splendid. Don't know what's happening down here, but we can see windows, which means if we're jumping down, there's a very high likelihood that we're going to be spotted out. And we don't want that at this point. What we would want is that they are just going for one another's throats and killing uh, one another. I wish we could go onto this balcony here to make it a bit more easy, I suppose. Yeah, I will just bypass all of that. Thank you, but no thank you. And I think now is a decent, it's as good as a time as ever. They are busy with one another. Not sure if we're going to get a better chance. Move into designated position. Menace one five. You've got the primary targets in tow. Secure any additional Good. operatives if possible. But moving sure over, moving over, and next time. turn we're going to break concealment and we're just going to run as if there would be no tomorrow. It's not the best strategy, but it's the only strategy that we do have. Yeah, there we go. They spotted us out. And... You know, it's just one little shot would explode that whole thing, trigger more loss, which is really what we would want. On my way. But that would break the rules of the run. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, we're probably going to stay here. So far we have not triggered too many enemies. Which is surprising, all things considered. into half cover and yeah, the cover spots are pretty sparse I'm going to I want to stand in the open that would not be a good idea but these guys also will not move to here so this here is actually a pretty relatively not pretty relatively speaking safe area Good. VIP moves down. Russ moves down. And Johnny moves down. Like I said, not the best strategy, um, so don't emulate that at home. But it's the only thing that we can do at this point. Hunkering down, hoping that these guys will somehow start messing with one another. Don't panic. That was suboptimal to say the least. Readings are all over the place. The lost are almost right on top of you. 
deal. These lofts seem to be pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. Okay, well... They are rushing closer. All right, now it's the moment where we're the moment of truth. Where we're rushing. Got another advent. Was to be expected, but there are plenty of losts, and there is a lost swarm coming very soon. And sometimes you gotta rush it. Unfortunately, our panicked rookie will probably not fully make it. We're going to pick up uh, the soldier. All right, that was a shot into half cover. Move closer to the exit. Move closer to the exit. Yep, there we go. Well, that would have been an incredibly cool move. Okay. Alright, this is bad, yep. Too bad they are taking our high ground. All right, Johnny Five has has been given a second chance. Question is, what is Johnny Five going to do with it? Could move to here and sort of move over here. Move to here. here is not penetratable for him there's probably there are losses around here so we've got to be careful with moving too far go up to here go to here risks taking a shot Before we do anything, Russ here is probably sacrificing himself, but by doing That's so, we got. We, were for, but there are still in the area. we got a new soldier. One that I would love to place over there. One that we could place actually pretty far away. We could place it here. I would like to give her kind of a spot where she can just run and at least make it to the exit zone. But with five hit points, we have to use her as a meat shield to a degree. So Joran here, going to move in. And we're going to hunker her down just right here. It means no crits. This guy here will be shooting first onto any of uh, the losts before targeting her. Now, the VIP. Probably the most important puzzle piece in this whole exercise. We move him to here. It's a relatively safe spot. Loss can't get him there. We're going to protect him with Sane, who is just standing next to him. So if anyone would take pot shots at them, it would first 
require them to shoot to Sane. I think I'm going to take this position here, although we can be flanked. We would be able to withstand one hit. We just cannot fall too far behind, elsewise he's de facto dead, because um, he would just not make it in time. Anchoring down. We hunkered down there. Uh, that should prevent um, them from being critically hit. Wow. Okay. Well, that was nasty. Wow, that was nasty. Yeah, and now they're shooting for the VIP, I figure. Did he just... Wow, have you seen that? One shot and he destroyed the entirety of that building? That is... That must be the worst XCOM physics engine... Um, bug that I've seen in a while. He just shot once and that entire thing, like, collapsed. Wow. Wow. VIP so close to the exit, but yet so far. Rushing in. Quick feed, same thing. And we unfortunately lost a couple of good uh, men and women. We lost Russ here. R rest in peace. Who now, I think, got reanimated. That's pretty cruel. We lost the random sniper that we got. I think we secured the VIP. I think we secured the VIP. There we go. Okay, wow, okay, wow. Damn it, the loss are furious. Good, I think it's fair to say we don't want to stay here any longer. Oh boy, so damn close, yeah, but we just barely made it. I promise you a Hail Mary run, and a Hail Mary run it is. Roger that, Firebrand has the VIP. All surviving XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand returning to base. Boy, that is a bit, uh, that is a nasty rating for the beginning. Lost yet another three operatives. Well, at least we got the VIP and the intel, so it was overall worth it. But boy, oh boy, what a mission. To discover exactly what type of exposure Rest in peace, Ross. Rest in peace, Johnny Five. We're not going to be forgotten. Fortunately, we didn't even get promotions, so wow, that is rough. We're getting thin on manpower. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah, <laughs> we should check for new recruits, that's true. Hilarious.
Let's get the rookies. Normally I'm skipping rookies because yeah, it just gives you three rookies, right? But at the rate that we are that we're losing soldiers, it's actually a pretty decent option for us. We're ready to move when you are, Commander. I've updated our objectives based on the latest information. Yeah, we're going to go with resistance communication because we want to make contact and get more income. Commander, if we're going to try to build this skulljack that Tygen came up with, we're going to need a specialized facility to test it out. I will begin our research immediately. Good, we're low on manpower one more day until finally we're done with the Guerrilla Tactics School. Guerrilla Tactics School now. Oh, wonderful. That is so good. That is very much needed. Okay, what do we need as a class? Specialist or Ranger? I think we need more offensive power at this point, so we're going to start with Rangers. View Soldiers and... Yeah, we still got a promotion here, but that, like I said, we'll promote him in the wrong direction. And we got three more rookies. We got Johnny Bravo joining the team, and we got Roby joining the team. Good job, man. Uh, seven days for a soldier. A soldier could be any class, and any class typically is a class that you do not have yet, so it's probably a sniper Avenger or a grenadier. So we're prioritizing um, the supplies over here. When inspired, our team is actually quite efficient. Very nice. Resistance communication done. And I like plated armor, but like I said, we don't have the alien alloys yet. Um, don't have a lost either. I see it could be a thing for battlefield scanners. I see it could be a start to rush. Um, Psionics. Though I was... And Remember, before I forget about it and glanced. get comments uh, from down below, I only lost uh, three hours and we're starting with debris cleaning, uh, clearing. We're going to do that um, and get more resources. So yeah, that one is good. We actually did not lose any time because I just finished the sketch. Um, re uh, reapplied uh, the um, engineer, and yeah, now we're going to pump uh, some rangers. We've had our suspicions, but before now, Got a promotion, but I don't want to promote the guy yet. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. I'd love to establish contact, don't get me wrong. We're probably going to do that, but I also love supplies, and we need that. Okay, well, we got an Advent Retaliation site. Let's take a look if we're skipping this mission or if we have a chance to do it. We got Hogbite, we got Halop. That's not a, a bad idea. If I promote Toxic, I know that he will be a class that we don't need. Yeah, so we're not just not going to promote him. We're running low on rookies, so... The problem is every single class that I would promote that is not useful. It's essentially as if the character would have died. Because why would I take someone onto a mission? And that, that's just that me. You could argue they can still do um, covert ops missions. And that's maybe a good line of argument. So that they are just the filling soldiers for covert ops missions. Because the problem by not promoting them on the other hand is we're ending up with a lot of rookies that do have a promotion and I never go through the promotion cycle. Um, and going through the GTS to get all rangers and specialists, that's going to take a while. On the other hand, we don't have a deep roster at this point. 
Like, we've taken a lot of losses already. So, yeah, we're probably not going to promote him at this point. Uh, we got Haylock. Um, could definitely work with it. Good old traditional uh, sword. Not that the scatter gun is needed. Might as well give him an assault rifle because he's not going to use it. Um, yeah. He's one option. Hogbite is the other one. Can't take him onto a mission. But yeah, sonar will be our saving grace when it comes to hacking and healing. That would actually be pretty helpful. Not even sure if we're going for healing protocol this time or if we're if we're going for enemy protocol because we have so limited options to deal damage that enemy protocol at some point might just be an incredibly helpful tool. But yeah, I think we're going to approach the mission. And uh, what could possibly go wrong? I could always evac after taking a few kills and uh, try to not lose any more soldiers. The last mission was a Hail Mary play because uh, we had really nothing to lose. Rookies are have a sentimental value, but it's this year is going to be a meat grinder campaign. If you can't shoot back, then you're going to eventually lose them. And a rookie is worth 15 um, or 30 supplies, so minuscular in the scope of what you could get if you're actually making the mission. Um, it is an unfortunate kind of um, anti-climactic view on the whole matters, but um, it, it also represents the reality of the game. Good, so next steps here, clearing alien debris. Uh, that is going to be what we're uh, uh, going to do. I would probably opt for a resistance ring second, uh, then for um, some energy, and maybe an infernary next, because we're going to take quite a few wounds. Quite a few. So, yeah, that's the idea. Maybe, oh no, uh, Maybe we're not going resistance ring second. Maybe I'm going proving ground second because then I can pump out school jacks and school jacks at least give me the option to instantly kill enemies instead of not doing anything. So that is something that um, uh, a rookie can theoretically uh, wield and start killing enemies with. Okay, cool, good. If you liked what you've seen, uh, even though it is a bloody campaign, then leave your comment down below. Maybe also commenting on the amount of losses that we've already taken. And uh, then we're going to see each other hopefully in the next, um, in the next uh, episode. Thank you for watching and see you in two days, guys. Bye-bye.